good afternoon children welcome back to the english online class in this class we are going to see the continuation of our previous class hope you remember what we have learned in our previous class what we learned in our previous class yes we started our unit 2 poem what's the title of the poem the grumble family by lucy mart montgomery is it children so in our previous class we had seen about the introduction about the author and the gist of the lesson and also we had seen the first five stanzas of the poem so children hope you remember all that so just we will have a quick recall about this first five stanzas and we will be learning the remaining four, uh, three stanzas okay children okay what we have seen in our first stanza yes we have seen about the people what kind of people are living in that street so the title itself you might understand grumble family what is the meaning of grumbling Ah, always complaining about something in a bad tempered way so all the people living in that area will be always grumbling so only the street got the name complaining street and also city how they are named never are satisfied they are not satisfied with what they have always they will be grumbling and in the second stanza they said that they growl at that and they growl at this so whatever it may be whatever coming to their life everything they will find something fault with that and always they will be complaining about something and their station may be high or humble high means you know whether they are living in a good status or whether they are living very leading a poor life whatever it may be all their characters are same and they all are called in the same name called grumble grumblers okay and in the third stanza they told that they say uh, whether the uh, um, whether is always too hot or cold they will complain about that and also whenever you meet a people in from the complaining state nothing will go correct with them because everything nothing goes right with the folks folks means people you meet in the complaining street and in the fourth stanza again the same uh, meaning only they growl at the rain they growl at the sun and one more thing which Uh, explains clearly about their character is that if they find everything good that means everything please them also what they will complain about ah uh, we have nothing to complain like that they will be complaining so whether it is going on good or bad whatever it may be they find something in that to complain about but the uh, curiosity to think curiosity i told the meaning that day curiosity means strange thing is that all the people will complain about something but they will not accept that they belong to the grumble family up to that we had seen in our previous class today we are moving with our next stanza that is the sixth stanza today we are going to see the remaining three stanzas okay children so we can move the sixth stanza i will be reading it for you and i will explain it the worst thing is that if anyone stays among them too long he will learn their ways and before he dreams of the terrible jumble he is adopted into the family of grumble okay the worst thing the what is a bad thing about the means if anyone anybody stays among them for too long for uh, too long if someone is staying with them they will also learn their way and they will be becoming one among them they will become a member of that family that is what the poet is telling see the worst thing is that if anyone stays with them too long if somebody stays with that people what will happen they will also become one among them they will also adopt their character and they will also become grumblers before they understand that yes i am also becoming a grumbler they can't change their character they will be also adopted to that family of grumble so 
they can't change their ways that is what it is told in the sixth stanza and now we can move to our seventh stanza so let me read that first for you and so it were wisest to keep our feet from wandering into complaining street and never to growl whatever we do lest we be mistaken for grumblers too okay here the poet is giving an advice to us so in our previous stanza what will happen if we stay with them a warning the poet had given in our eighth stanza the poet the seventh stanza the poet is explaining about or advising the readers what we should do to keep ourselves safe what we have to do what is the wisest thing to keep our feet away from that street if you enter the street you will become one among them so better you have to keep your feet away from that people so he just given that and so it were wisest to keep our feet from wandering into that complaining street and never to growl whatever we do so whatever happening in our life we should not growl at that we should not make any uh, sound whether growling okay so whether it is good happening in our life or bad situation coming into our life you should not growl at that lest we be mistaken for grumblers too if we are growling at all these things all the good things or bad things whatever happening there if we start to growl at that we will be also mistaken and we will be considered one among that people okay we were also grumblers like that we will be mistaken so best thing is you should not growl at anything okay children got it what we, so in the fifth sixth stanza we learnt about the uh, what warning the poet is giving you should not you should stay away from them that is the thing and then if you stay with them what will happen that warning the poet had given in the sixth stanza and in the seventh stanza <coughs> the poet informed about that as an advice give uh, he she gave us an advice what to do to keep ourselves safe from that complaining street okay and we can move to our last stanza that is eighth stanza let us learn to walk with a smile and a song no matter if things do sometimes go wrong and then be our station high or humble we will never belong to the family of grumble okay the conclusion stands so that how the poet had concluded the poem we can see let us learn to walk with a smile and a song we can't say that see all the things happening in our life will be always giving happiness to us no there may be sad things happening to us or bad things happening to us whatever it may be what we should learn we should learn to walk with a smile and a song why the poet is telling we ought to always walk with a smile and a song when you are always smiling and singing what happen you will stop grumbling we will not uh, start to shout at this and that so better always keep smiling and always be uh, singing a song that is the poet's advice to us no matter if things do sometimes go wrong whether it go whatever uh, problems coming to our life how you have to face that problem you have to face it with a smile and a song and then be our station high or humble if we are leading a poor life or a rich life or a luxurious life if we are living that doesn't matter how we are living that life if we are enjoying and we are facing without any grumbling sound if we are facing our life with a smile and a song our life will be happy and we will never belong to the family of 
grumbled okay we will never belong to the family of grumbled okay this three stanzas the poet is advising us one thing the fifth stanza sixth stanza i told you it's about uh, warning what will happen if you stay with them and in the seventh stanza the poet told what uh, how you have to leave okay what you have to do for that you have to keep away from them okay your feet away from the complaining street and how your last stanza is a conclusion stanza and there the poet is giving an advice how to face the difficult situation also because we will be tempted to grumble when we are facing a bad situation so only the poet is telling how you have to face a bad situation so totally eight stanzas were there and all these stanza is having the same rhyme scheme so in our poetic device class i explained about what is rhyming scheme and rhyming words hope you attended the class i think so so here all these stanza each stanza how many lines are there children yes four four lines are there in each line and first two lines ending with the same sound have you seen that yes yeah. first stanza meet street satisfied beside like that it is there in the same way all these eight stanzas also having the same rhyming scheme what is the rhyming scheme of the poem if they ask how will you write a a b b okay in our previous class i had given you the rhyming words of the all the other stanzas i think so five stanzas i had given so now in the sixth stanza just we can see what are the rhyming words ma stays ways jumble grumble got it children that is the rhyming words in the uh, sixth stanza and feet to street do to that is given in the seventh stanza song song wrong humble grumble got it children these are the rhyming words so all uh, the rhyming words are given there uh, that uh, rhyming scheme hope you understand all those things so what are the other poetic devices we are going through ma each line there will be you will be having the uh, alliteration do you remember what is this alliteration yes in the same line beginning with the same letter so um, can you find the uh, rhyming words that alliteration alliteration ma see first line we can see ma there is a family nobody likes to meet there all the words are beginning with the different letters there is no alliteration there so what about the next one they leave it is said don complaining straight uh, is there any alliterated words there ma yes said straight beginning with the a uh, letter yes yes got it children like that it's an activity for your kids you all have to read the whole poem and find out each line you have to go through and underline the alliterated word okay children um, an important uh, poetic device is here that is the um, first title itself it's an epithet i informed you about what is epithet epithet means for a noun an adjective a describing word is used before a noun so family is a noun grumble family grumble so what kind of family it is mentioned so it is a uh, that uh, epithet in such a way uh, that complaining street is a epithet okay children complaining street when i taught you the poetic device i explained that then next ma uh, that uh, river of discontent the river of discontent that word is personification okay children in the first stanza it is there fourth line discontent river of discontent river uh is a non living thing discontent dissatisfaction that is a character of a human being a character of a human being is given to a river so that is personification so in such a way different types of poetic device is also given there in this poem so what are the things you have to go through just go through the poem first you have to mark all the rhyming scheme and in the side of the poem you have to pick out and write all the Uh, rhyming words near each stanza so you have to write the poetic uh, the rhyming words children then you have to go through each line and underline the alliterated words 
okay ma so these are the activities i am giving for you you have to read the whole eight stanzas and you have to do it okay so next some question answers are also given there i will be sending you through whatsapp okay so the school poem you need to do poem we completed children so uh, i will be sending the question answers and learn that too okay children thank you